Okay, hi Revelation Wellness friends. So today, 10 minutes, high intensity, 10 different things. We're just gonna do one minute of each, all the way through. Modifications, um, let me think about. I don't think there's too many modifications today. Uh, the, any jumping, don't jump. Just do the same movement without the impact. And you will need jump rope for one minute of the exercises. And if you don't have a jump rope, you'll just mimic the movement. And then gliders or paper plates. Um, and that should be all you need. But I do want to remind you that this is not your battle to fight. That God wants to fight it for you. You be present. It doesn't mean life is easy. It means there's going to be hard moments and you're going to be faithful. And being faithful always comes to being obedient and doing what we don't always want to do. And I think for a large portion of you, Exercise is not the most, the first thought of your mind and first thing of the day, but it is necessary to having a well-being mentally and emotionally. So we're going to just do it. We're going to be obedient to that and know that God will fight for you, okay? Just like King Jehoshaphat. All right, we'll see you. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, first minute, jumping rope. position. It always feels like my waist is about an inch smaller because I have to draw my belly up. I guess I don't have to, but if I don't, my spine's going to suffer for it. Excuse my kids today <laughs> who are running in and out of the house. It's just life. 
leg. Good. Next. Feet wide. It's called a roll off. We've done before, they're even like over the rainbows, but we're going to go really big. Up. And you're going to really windmill those hands around. Okay, want more? 
have to stay up in that beef. exchanging our will for his. And then as we, just like King Jehoshaphat, he sought the will of God first. Read 2 Chronicles 20. Read it today. Because this is just verse 17 out of it, that, that God's going to fight the battle. But it's because Jehoshaphat sought the will of God before he did anything, before he went into battle. And for us, we know it's God's will that we're healthy. We know that. He wants us to live vitality-filled energetic lives. So we have to do this not because we're trying to prove something to him or prove it to anyone else, but because this is the passageway to wellness. There's no magic bullet, everybody. <laughs> and if there was, I would say as people who follow Christ, we're not supposed to take it. It's the real way or no way at all. The real life or no life at all. All right. Go to the website, please. Donate. You're benefiting from these in any way. Um, help us to, to enlarge the vision that God has given this ministry to bring health and wholeness to uh, not only his people, to, but to others who don't know of him, to others who would never thought to find him here. All right, have a great day. Take care. Love God. Love others well. Peace.